Hey there, welcome back to Bite Size Booksmith. My name is Angie, and I'm excited to get us started on our first step by step project. We are going, actually going to be writing a mid grade fiction series. Technically, we're going to be writing the first book of the series, but we're going to plan the entire series out from start to finish. And I'm super excited to do this with you guys. So let's first start with some definitions. That way we all know that we're talking about the same thing. First of all, what is mid-grade fiction? So mid-grade fiction is books for children who are a 2 12 years of age. They are also books that have both a primary and a secondary audience. So the primary audience is going to be our 8 to 12 year olds. But we also have a secondary audience that is more of a gatekeeper. I don't know about you, but my child doesn't have his own income. So there's going to have to be people that buy the book for the child. So that's what our secondary audience is. That's going to be the parents, the grandparents, other people in their life that are going to recommend this book to or provide this book to the child. Some popular books in the mid-grade fiction world, those are going to be your Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling, your Percy Jackson and all of those Olympian books by Frank Riordan, and then also like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So those are some of the more popular books that are considered to be mid-grade fiction. There's going to be some crossover between children's, maybe a little bit less crossover with young adult, but they're all in the same area. Some popular topics that you might see in uh, mid-grade fiction is going to be adventure and exploration, friendships and social relationships, family dynamics, coming of age, fantasy and magic, mystery and suspense, real life challenges and social issues, science and technology, as well as environmental awareness. So these are some of the things, some of the the topics that are going to come up. Then again, this is mid-grade fiction. So why did I choose mid-grade fiction? There's two really big main reasons why. So first of all, actually, technically, there's three reasons. The first reason is I don't see a lot of people talking about mid-grade fiction. We've, we've got people that are showing people how to use chat GPT to write children's books. I've actually written a, ch- a children's book. I didn't actually use chat GPT. I actually had a little help from Jasper. But you've also got people that are showing people how to write books for adults. But there's much less content that I've seen personally for writing books for kids in this age bracket. Second reason that I wanted to do a mid-grade fiction series, I wanted to make sure that we're working on something that we can use ChatGPT. If you are newer to Claude, Chat, and some of the other tools, they have really strong content guidelines, we'll just say some things you can't talk about. So if you're doing like a spicy romance, you're better off with a pseudo write. And we'll again eventually get to those sort of things. I wanted to start with something that I don't want to call it easy, but it's going to be work with the channel, I think much better. And then finally, the last reason is because I have a 12 year old. He has dyslexia, he has ADHD, and I'll be honest, he doesn't like to read. So I want to write books that are for him. I want to write something that he's going to be interested in. And we'll actually get back to him here in a few minutes. But so let's move on to what is the Stratemeyer Syndicate? Now, this isn't something that I had heard of before I had joined Future Fiction Academy. And basically what it is, it's organization founded by a gentleman by the name of Edward Stratemeyer in 1905. And he had a revolutionary publishing strategy in which he created the plot and he created the characters, but then he used ghostwriters to write the stories and to write the books. So he provided X, Y, and Z. This is how you, this is the writing style. This is how you're going to do it. And then someone else actually did the actual writing. Series that include Nancy Drew, the Hardy Boys, and the Bobsy Twins all came out of this Stratemeyer Syndicate. And that's what 
I'm looking to do here is, is I'm looking to create the plots and the characters with the help of the AI, obviously, with assistance. But ultimately, I am the one in charge. I'm the one that's making the decision. And then using assistance to write the plot, write the, uh, to write the actual book. So that's why we're talking about the Stratemeyer Syndicate is for this we're trying to build here. So we're trying to build a way to be able to quickly and consistently write great books. And so let's move on. So we have some goals. And so let's go into what those are. And here we go. Create mid-grade fiction series that can be produced quickly with decent quality, either by the original writer, aka you and me, a ghostwriter, or an AI writing assistant. So we're also going to, through this entire series, walk through the entire book production process from pre-idea to post-launch book marketing for book one. And my stretch goal, remember I said, we talked about my son again, he is a Roblox game developer. And so the idea is for me to take that concept that I create for the series and work with him to develop a Roblox game so we can get kids excited about reading. Okay, so let's go into the topics that we're going to cover over this series. And let me tell you, it's going to be a lot. So let's start with the pre-writing phase. Here we go. So we're going to start with the overview, which is this video. Then we're going to move on to the series business plan. Then we're going to go into research, and then we're going to start generating series ideas. Okay. From there, we're going to go into the building of the story. So that's going to include the book one synopsis, building the world, casting the characters, creating scene outlines. Then from there, taking the beats and making sure that they're actionable scene beats. And then after all of this, we're going to move everything into Novel Crafter and put it into the codex. Yes, we are going to be using Novel Crafter on this project. Okay, so then we're going to move into the writing phase, which it looks like it's going to be short. This is going to be where we're going to spend the most of our time is because we're going to be drafting those chapters. And then after we draft the chapters, and then we're going to have to go back and edit. We'll be talking not only about self-edits, but AI-assisted edits as well as, you know, having an editor or a proofreader or whomever we end up deciding to do editing this book. Okay, then we're going to go into the pre-launch phase. In this phase, we're going to talk book covers, book formatting, pre-marketing of the book. So we're not going to leave this up to hope that people start buying it. We're going to have a plan before this book launches. We'll talk it all out and figure it out. And then we're also going to load the book into KDP. Finally, we're going to go into the post-launch phase. In this phase, we're going to be talking about post-launch marketing. And then we're going to talk about continuing the series. That is a lot. But we're going to take it step by step. And I'll try to keep everything into videos that are as small and you know focused as possible. I can't promise because I do have ADHD and I do get confused sometimes and go off on the tangent, but we'll do our best. Okay. Before I show you the tools, I want to you know, put a disclaimer on this. Don't go and start buying tools. Get them as we need them and only if you need them. We don't want to go buy a bunch of stuff. We don't want to go spend a bunch of money. Okay. Also, I'm one of those people that when I buy a tool, I buy it monthly. I might not use it next month, so I might turn it off. I don't, unless it's a big deal, I don't pay for a year. And I think the only thing I pay for a year is my Creative Fabrica, uh, but that's neither here nor there. So tools, we're going to be using ChatGPT. You can also use OpenAI open Playground. We'll also be using KD Spy, Publisher Rocket, Novel Crafter, more than likely, we'll be using Atticus. I own Vellum, but I don't have a Mac unless I win the lottery and get a Mac between now and then. 
we'll be buying and using Atticus. Additionally, we're going to be doing some graphics, some a couple of different types of graphics. So we'll be using some graphics programs. We'll probably touch on Canva, Photoshop, possibly Midjourney, maybe use some Dolly 3. Moving on to editing programs, I plan to touch on Grammarly, Autocrit, as well as Pro Writing Aid. And I have some optional ones down here that I'm not sure if we're going to touch on or not, such as Book Brush, Book Sirens, and Kalytics. Okay, that was exhausting, but I hope you're excited. I hope you're ready to do this thing. I know I am. It's going to be weird to do it in public, this the whole writing and planning thing, but I'm excited. So I hope you are too. I'm going to end by giving you an invitation to the video. You can also subscribe to the channel to ensure that you get all the videos in this series. You can also, I think there's a bell. You can hit that and get notified when there's a new one. And then I also want to encourage you to scroll down, leave me a comment. Are you going to write with me? Are you going to write along? And if you are, what kind of series are you going to write? Are you going to do mid-grade with me? Or are you going to try maybe a young adult, maybe one, a romance, or like a mystery or something for adults? I'd love to know. And I'm sure the rest of the community would love to know too. Thank you so much for joining me for this video, and we'll see you on the next one.